The meeting involving security forces and representatives of political parties with presidential candidates, as well as representatives of independent presidential candidates, began at 1 p.m. and took more than three hours. It was held at the Electoral Commission headquarters and tackled several issues. All parties are committed to having the remaining, part, the remaining days of our campaigns peaceful and to, in ensuring that all of us play our role. I think what was important for, was for each of us to recognize that we have a role to play in ensuring that we have a peaceful electoral process. However, the representatives of the National Unity Platform political party left the meeting prematurely. They say that the proceedings were a disappointment and did not meet the expectations. We expected, one, this to be a truth-telling meeting, that the police is not going to gloss over certain issues because everybody is seeing these issues that are happening out there. But they're out there trying to say, you see, you people, your problem, you're not following SOPs, your problem, you, you are disobedient. What uh, really, really offended uh, many of us is for police to pretend that they do not see what is happening. You, the media, have been showing on a daily basis how many gatherings of NRM take place in this country, not complying with the SOPs or whatever they call them. Opposition representatives claimed that the police director of operations, Eduardo Chom, did not help the meeting to make tangible decisions. And I can state clearly that this meeting we have had has, was just a talk show. Because what we have raised, nobody is coming up to agree or how to move. We also uh, tasked the, uh, the police, the, the representative from the Uganda police force, uh, to get back to... Uh, to his uh, 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 to his superiors. The main call by the opposition was to have security officers treat other Ugandans with decency. It does not make logical sense for police and the military to say they are going to kill people with the guns as a way of prevent preventing them from dying from COVID-19. So what do we do? RCC writes a letter to the chairman of the electoral commission that he doesn't need the RARE. Electoral commission had approved the program of candidates, our candidate goes to Kawempe, he's denied and put tear gas. And why did the electoral commission in the first place agree? One of the things that has just been decided this evening, at the insistence of the Secretary General of NRM, was to question the chairman, electoral commission, why the RCC of Kawempe had to write the chairman electoral commission and even go ahead and implement before he has had a response. Having written to the chairman of the electoral commission, he should have waited for guidance from the, the electoral commission other than implementing what he thinks is right. That's wrong. The law is there. You wait. The matter is going to be handled. However, the Electoral Commission expressed optimism that through such discussions there will be a compromise and Uganda will hold peaceful elections.